दी उपनिषद सीरीज रिलीजन इज फेयरलेसनेस रिलीजन इज फेयरलेसनेस लॉन्ग एगो देर वॉज अ रिलीजियस कॉन्फ्रेंस इन दैट कॉन्फ्रेंस a mystic a sufi happened to somehow reach there it was a time when it is said that you must be afraid of god otherwise he will punish you in that congregation he read a couplet when he read the first line everybody there got angry the first line when he read it meant if i ever get an opportunity i will stop the day of your judgment definitely it was a congregation of the learned and they got angry how could you stop the day of judgment of god but then he recited he read the second line and as he read the second line everyone got quieted because it was the voice of truth it was the message of the master and the second line read i will recite those couplets of your compassion that your anger will feel your anger will vanish पढ़ूंगा मोहब्बत के वो कसीदे सुन के हंस पड़ेगा आजाब तेरा आजाब मीन्स एंगर आई विल रिसाइड दो कपलेट्स कसीदे ऑफ दाई कंपैशन दाई लविंगनेस दैट योर एंगर विल बिगिन टू लव एंड विल बिगिन टू वैनिश i will remind you of your compassion of your lovingness of your care for the humanity but the first line was mila jo mauka to rok dunga wo roz mahshar hisab tera if i ever get an opportunity i will stop the day of your judgment because that is the day when it is decided who is going to be punished or who is not religion is lovingness it is not born out of fear something that is born out of fear cannot take you far away it is only something that emanates out of love can take you beyond the horizons religion brings fearlessness in you indeed a religious person will be fearless man is all alone he is in darkness there is no support he is unsafe and already afraid this alone is his worry the way to get rid of this is religion and if religion creates fear in you 
then what would you do? If you are afflicted in the company of the justice, where would you get a state of fearlessness? Religion is fundamentally the way of working in a state of fearlessness. But the religions are really afraid of fearlessness itself. Their support and life itself is fear in the hearts of men. They can survive by creating the fear in men. Vast majority of the people are religious because of the fear. Fear itself is their food and life. Fearless means fearlessness means the end of their life. The fear in men has been exploited to a great deal, and in this exploitation, religions have not been have been far behind. Perhaps they have been foremost. When the support of the fear alone, the supernatural being, with the support of the fear alone, supernatural being exists. Even your gods of all the religions exist with the support of fear. Remove the fear and the castle of religion will stumble. The supernatural support, supernatural supported by fear, have merely threatened men. But even so, this has never been more than a game of their pleasure. But fear supported religion has killed the man outright. His game has been very this his game has been very costly. Life has got entangled in the net of fear. And how could happiness be there? How could happiness be there where there was fear? and fear alone. How could love evolve when there is fear? How could peace be there when fear is there? How could truth be there when there is fear all around? Pleasure or happiness is the offshoot of fearlessness. Fear is death. Fearlessness is eternal life. That the supernatural lives on fear could be understood, but that God should also live on it is very unseemingly. And if God also subsists on fear, then there could be no other way out of the clutches of this supernaturals. For a man of understanding, God has no relation to fear. God has no relation with fear. God who has created the entire creation cannot allow fear to breathe into. Most certainly, in the name of God, someone else is exploiting this fear and introducing the fear in the minds of the people. Indeed, religion is not in the hands of the religious people. It is said, that whenever a discovery of truth is made, the Satan 
is the first to take hold of it. The souls in which the religion is manifested and those which deal in religion are not only different but are basically opposed. The souls in which religion is manifested and those which deal in religion are not only different but basically opposed to one another. Those who deal in religion are business oriented. By creating the fear in the minds of the people is the only way for them for their business to continue. Religion has all along been in the hands of its enemies and if this fact is not realized while there is time still, the future of man will not be good or worthy of a welcome. Religion has to be saved not from non-religious instead from so-called religious ones and without doubt this job is not only difficult but troublesome as well. There are people who are copywriting the masters using their writings for their own monetary gains and it becomes such a strong force that to fight, to struggle against them is not possible by the, by the ordinary human beings. As long as religion is based on fear, it cannot be the real one. God's basis is love. God has nothing to do with fear. Man needs the love to grow. There is no other way to God except love. Fear breeds a hatred and when there is fear. Love is almost impossible. Love cannot be found. Religion wanted to live on fear and therefore its temples gradually got shattered. Temples are for love. Temples of fear are impossible. Fear has no temple, it has only prisons. Ask yourself, are you the temple of religion or the temple of prisons? There is constant fear. If you do not do this, you will be punished. If religion is fear, then temple will be the prisons. If religion is fear, God himself cannot be more than the chief prison officer. What is religion? Fear of sin? Fear of hell? Fear of punishment? Fear of greed? or fear of good deeds or reward for heaven? No, certainly religion is neither fear nor greed. Greed is nothing but an extension of fear. Religion is fearlessness. Religion is freedom from all kinds of fears. I have heard an old anecdote. Once there lived two brothers in a town. They were the wealthiest in that town and perhaps the name of the town was 
the town of darkness. The elder brother was very religious. Daily and regularly he will go to temple. He would give charities and do good deeds. He would listen to religious discourses and discussions. He would sit in the company of good people and the saints. Because of him, there was a gathering of saints daily in that house. On account of his attention to God, the saints had become entitled to heavens in the other world. This was explained to him that the good men and saints deserve heaven. It is written in the scriptures because those scriptures were also made by the group of the people group of those good men and saints. <coughs> on one hand he exploited wealth, on the other he would give charities and do good things. Heaven cannot be attained without charities, there can be no wealth without exploitation. The wealth comes from the opposite of religion and religion is the puppet of wealth. He exploited others. The good men and saints exploited him and the exploiters have been good friends. However, he always pitied his younger brother. He was not good at collecting money and consequently he was getting unable to collect. <coughs> Religion either. His behavior was full of love and truth, was coming in the way of his reaching God. He was neither going to the temple nor he did nor did he know anything of scriptures, its condition according to his other brother was pitiable and his account in the other world was blank. He used, he, he used to avoid good men and the saints also as people would avoid infectious diseases. If the saints entered the house from one gate, he would go out from the other. His religious brother used to request many saints to change the heart of his non-religious brother. They said, there could be a change only if he would stay near the saints, but he would not stay. But one day a full-fledged and a real saint came there. No one knows how many non-religious people he had converted into the religious one. He was an adept in the theories of peace, persuasion, and an adept in the theories of peace, persuasion, threat and division. It was his profession to convert people to religion. It is on such saint that the foundation of religion rests, it is said. Otherwise religion would have disappeared long ago when the, when the elder brother repeated the request to him, he also said, do not worry, that fool will now be in trouble. I will now see that he remembers God. What I say, 
I always fulfill. Saying this, <coughs> saying this, he took his stick and accompanied his older brother. He was a wrestler in the past. Thereafter, finding saintliness as a better profession than wrestling, he became a saint. He caught hold of the younger brother immediately on arrival. Not only did he catch him, but he floored him down on the ground and sat on his chest. That young man was not able to understand anything what is going on. He was speechless out of surprise. Even so, he said, Sir, what is this going on? What are you doing? The saint said, Change of heart. The young man laughed and said, Please leave this aside. Is this way to change the heart? Please take care. You may not go get hurt in the body, the saint said, we do not believe in the body, we believe in God. Say, Ram, and then alone I will leave you, otherwise you will find no one worse than I. The saint was very generous and therefore, in the interest of a young man, he descended to the level of thrashing him. The young man said, What relation is there between fear and God? And does God have a name? I will not say Ram like this whether I live or not. And then he pushed down the saint. After his fall, the saint said, Wonderful, wonderful, you have said what you had to say. Even in saying that I will not say Ram, you have uttered his name. His brother was very angry with him because the saint was toppled, but he was very much pleased with the saint. He had made his atheist brother uttered the name of God. The glory of the name of Ram is so great that uttering his name once even by mistake will take the person beyond the sea of this life. That day he gave a great feast to the whole town. After all, his younger brother has turned religious. This is how we live. Religion does not evolve or religi religiosity or religiousness does not evolve out of fear. And most of the religion, the religious custodians have used fear as an important tool to create a group of people who can be considered as religious. That is why when that mystic read the couplet in the congregation of the saints, in the congregation of the learned, with the first line as he recited, if I ever get an opportunity, I will stop the day of judgment. The first thing, when there is a fear out of that, everyone is waiting for the day of judgment, who will get punishment and who will get a reward. So first thing is to stop that. And why would he stop and, and after he stops the day of judgment, what, would, what else would he do? 
It says, I will recite those couplets of thy grace, thy love, thy kindness, thy care. Listening to this, your anger will begin to laugh and vanish. You would have seen the mother is getting angry with the child. All of a sudden, the child does some actions, something that makes the mother burst into laughter. One moment she was angry, but seeing the gesture of the child, her anger has vanished. Something like this happens. Remember, religion is fearlessness. Never enter religion because of the fear of this or that, fear of any kind. Religion evolves, love evolves out of fearlessness.